looking a bit grizzly. Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I made the last video. There's no real good excuse for it really. So today I wanted to talk to you about a three year experiment I've been trying with this car. So there was something I was testing out with this car a few years back. About three years ago, I converted it to a different fuel system. It's not E85, as you can't really get that in London as far as I'm aware, in larger quantities than you'd need, this being my daily driver. But let me take you around and show you what I mean. Liquid Petroleum Gas, or LPG. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, why, why would you do it? Let me explain. From this car, I was getting about 50 miles for every 20 pounds worth of nitro fuel I put in at 1 pound 42 a litre. That's with fairly economical driving. However, with LPG, a 30 pound fill at 59.9 .9 pence per litre gives me well over 150 to 170 miles in a city driving at a fair economical pace mainly to and from work in traffic. When you're going outside of London, I'm getting even more mileage. From 30 pound fill at 59.9 .9 pence per litre, I'll be looking at around about 220 to 230 miles. Whereas on a 20 pound nitro fill, I'll be getting about 70 outside of city motorway driving. As far as power output goes, the system that I'm running at the moment is a Prince VSI Gold. It costs around about 1850. It's tunable for up to 400 horse. That's with the racing HKS injectors. The moment, I still haven't had a chance to take it on a dyno. The only noticeable difference that you would feel as a driver is after about three and a half thousand revs up to redline. There's a slightly less pull. But other than that, there's very little difference. In my previous videos when we've been driving around, it's actually been running on LPG. Now I say it was an experiment because I just wanted to see what the car would be like running on this fuel. Personally, I find it to be fantastic for a daily driver. If I was to turn this into my track car then no I wouldn't use it it's very simple to change between petrol and LPG let me show you how it works is fairly simple you just start the engine initially it starts up on petrol just to warm up the cylinders and get it ready for the gas the blinking light checks engine temperature once it's reached the correct temperature the gas switches on the LED lights around it the blue ones indicate how much fuel you have in your tank. I'm running low at the moment, so we're gonna go fill up some gas. So the gas is already turned on. The engine oil is still a bit cold. So I can't really open up the car just yet. The only real main issue that I find uh, with LPG is I have to sort of schedule my week. When I mean schedule, I mean there's only about three places near me that do LPG as far as Shell goes. I particularly like to use Shell. BP does offer LPG as well. I find their prices to be a little bit dearer than Shell. So 
So it uses about, I would say, one mile worth of petrol just to warm up the engine, after which point it uses none until the engine cools down and restarts. As far as petrol consumption goes, I normally during winter time fill up about 10 pounds, maybe 15 pounds a month. I drive it every single day and I do around about 150 to 160 miles a week. 30 pounds worth of inner city driving on LPG does me just fine. LPG 60p per litre, 30 pound fill, and you get 50.18 litres from that. Nitro Plus, 7.76 litres for 10 quid. That's my petrol done for the month, and LPG done for the week. That's the basic principles of LPG. As for when people say it burns hotter, I haven't really noticed anything as far as oil temperature and water temperature goes. For a daily driver, I would say power output, like I said, it's barely noticeable. It's fantastic value for money. I've gone from spending 10 pounds a day on fuel to 30 pounds a week with daily driving. So I know what you're thinking at this point. Why am I getting my car washed? Why am I not doing it myself? I'll be absolutely honest with you guys. It's only because I'm tired, it's cold, and I'm lazy. If it wasn't so cold, you'd see me outside in the drive for hours on end washing my car and keeping it nice and clean. I'm, I'm just cold. There's no excuse for it. But oh uh, well, what are you gonna do? It is what it is. Anyway guys, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There will be more videos in regards to LPG. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you within reasonable time. As for now, I have been thinking about this channel. I'm not sure if I want to continue with cars, uh, whether I want to move over to other things, but let's see how it goes. Hopefully you guys stay subscribed to me. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up on this video for lowering my carbon footprint. Also, road tax drops by 30 quid result oh and one more thing that's a 90 litre tank in the boot you can get smaller sizes and you can get bigger sizes however that one just does me so i'm happy with that to be honest uh leaves about half boot space for me as well as you saw earlier that's it for now guys i'm gonna leave it at that peace <laughs>